Today, the 30th annual Northwest Flower and Garden Festival starts Wednesday, and two Northwest gardening experts will return to battle it out in another round of container wars. Please welcome our good buddy, Cisco Morris, and the director of the Elizabeth C. Miller Botanical Garden, Richie Steffen. Come on out. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You guys have done this before. Yes. Explain, since you're you're the guest and, and Cisco's here all the time, I, I get to talk to him a lot. Explain how this works. So, we are building three pots competing against each other, trying to make the best pots possible. Why they ask us? Why the audience asks us questions? While Cisco steals things from my pots. Yes, yes, I know uh, he does this. There. I I know. And yeah. 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 Guilty. Do you, would you like to speak in your own defense at this point? He stole my centerpiece last year, just, right? Just once. Just, just once. <laughs> so in the in the battle, you're trying to get the best pots. You're answering questions. Yes. Do you have a time element? We do on there. It is it's, about a half hour. Yeah, it's about a half hour. Half an hour? Yes. Yeah. That's a lot of time. I thought you were going to say like three minutes. But something. there's three containers, yeah. and there's about eight million plants. And then the, the uh, MC is saying, okay, you can rip a plant out of his if you want. And I know, so, I know. It's there's really, lots of yeah. X there's... factors. So we're going to do a mini version. So, um, Cisco, explain what will happen here. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take turns at first, at least, grabbing a plant. Taking and we'll try turns. to. Describe that won't last them. long. We'll describe the plants the best we can and why we're using them in our pots. So, and uh, since I've already, and uh, by the way, uh, I think we should be able to steal one plant in this. Do we, are, so, we I don't agreement? see any other way to do it. Okay, very good. So Who's you've got that, your centerpiece already. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> and it begins. Okay, are you ready? Ready, set, go. Okay, you can have first choice. Okay, since you're the right. guest. Okay, so with this, I think I want, I want this. Oh, on there. Yeah. A really nice. This is this is a hookra coral bells, and it's a really great foliage plant, and they do great in containers. Well, Colors I, match nicely. Yes. Yep. Yeah, and I'm gonna grab uh, black mondo grass because this is the best plant on earth. Really? There is no better plant. They cost an arm and a leg, but you can divide them really easy. But this will add a nice uh, kind of a finer texture and a different form in here because uh, these two plants in the middle are, are these wonderful Lenten rose hellebores, you know. So. While you're talking, Richie is stealing plants. Hey, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Didn't you see me grab this one? <laughs> <laughs> No, so, which one did yeah, you choose? No, texture is really great. This is this is a a, a carex, a sedge, and this one's called Evergold, and mm. it's evergreen. It has a wonderful texture, and with all of this big bold foliage, it makes it all pop. Beautiful, there, especially with this purple leaf. Okay, I so gotta go, admit go. that does look good. All right, I'm gonna grab this uh, blue primrose, and you know that color is just so intense but it'll kind of disappear in there, so I'm gonna have to put something by it to make sure it really stands out. But uh, I think that's gonna look really good in there. I know, color, color is really important. Uh -oh. And oh, so no. I'm going for something that's gonna pop a little bit more. He yes. did. I know. All right, I'm gonna take another one of these carrots here because you know, they're evergreen, they're, they look great year round, and a pot like this, Practic it might last all winter out there, you know. So I want something that's going to make that blue stand out so a, a nice color that contrasts with that. Nicely really nice. done. Nicely yeah. done. Yeah. I love those. And I don't know what that I is. That's love awesome. This, this is another one of the hookers, and this is one of the lime leaf ones, which are not as widely available as the purple <laughs> leaf ones, and they just pop. Yeah. In there. That, and that Makes me think of St. Yeah. Patrick's Day. It, it really does, and it's a nice little thing to spill over the edge and hide the, the edge of the pot. Awesome. Okay, and I'm going to swipe the other heucra. Oh. This one I think is obsidian, and it stays really black. And you know one of the interesting things about a dark color? It makes uh, hot colors really stand yes. out and pop out. So How do you that's spell that? Nice. I want to look for those. Heucra, uh, uh, obsidian. Obsidian, yeah. and it's hookra is the yeah, plant. Yeah. I was okay. about to have the, the oh. uh, dollar <laughs> oh, no, 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 I know, I know. I'll write that down. <laughs> I know black mondo grass is the best thing for containers. There, it, There's nothing like it. And, you know, a friend of mine, a good friend of mine said, 
It's like the little black cocktail dress of the plant ah. world. It goes Ooh, with yeah. everything. Ah. Interesting. Now you said <laughs> it was expensive. How much does it cost? Well, you know, that's 15 bucks for that one oh, right there. Oh, that's okay, because we're going to split it, so we're fine, <laughs> that's right? Because yeah. you know what? They, they, they send out little yeah. rhizomes and come up all over your garden, oh, but yeah. they're never a pest. So they're really easy to divide. You know what else is great about black right mondo well grass? It really, yeah, look, yeah, yeah they're already starting runners, to go yeah. like mad. And black mondo grass, uh, it, it actually stays that. way yeah, blacker really if you put it in the sun, even though the tag says stick it in the shade. So, okay, is it Do my turn? Have, have, I don't, I don't <laughs> mean to, no, 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 to no, bring it no, 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 but right, it kind of looks like you're building similar guys. containers here. I want a lot here. of color. Uh-oh, he took the, he took the rest uh -huh. of the... Uh -huh. Very good. Wait, now, you can't have that unless you know what name that fern is, uh, because he wrote a fern book. I, I did, and I he do knows. know the name of it. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is, it's a maidenhair fern, it's an evergreen maidenhair, maidenhair. fern. Yeah, Himalayan maidenhair fern, uh, Adiantum venustum, for all those keeping track of botanical that. Latin names. That? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> You're cheating now. You're cheating. But All right, we don't have a whole lot uh -oh. of time, but uh -oh. let's take a look uh -oh. at uh -oh. these containers. You want okay. to do it really go fast? Go, go. Just go. Yeah. Everybody go. <laughs> Grab plants and stuff. Let's see what we see. Oh, my goodness. That's... Oh, la la. Oh, there's one more of those little ferns. <laughs> I knew... <laughs> By the way, they did a very lovely job. Way, I, didn't have they? To, I very humbly have to tell you that I did win the contest oh. last year. Oh. Oh. I was going to leave nothing, that. It had nothing to do with that Cisco bobblehead I, I doll was I robbed. stuck in it. You were robbed. Nothing to do with that. I, you know, they, I had that as a question in my notes, and I thought I just wouldn't mention it. You know, to, so I was on your side here trying yeah. to keep this very smooth. Um, now, what will happen at this year's garden show? You're both speaking. Are you doing Container Wars again? We, we are we doing are. Container Wars, and this time I will win. Friday uh, at 11.30. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah, Friday at 11.30 uh, there, and it'll be a lot of fun. It will be. Yeah, and I think both of us are speaking down at the show as well. So uh, um, I'll speak Friday, and I'm, what day? When do you, you speak? We better not be competing on our talk. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, we my better gosh. not be. I'm you, at oh 4.30 on be. Friday to give a talk. Oh. It's called uh, Lessons I've Learned from the 30 Years the Flower and Garden Show has been going. Yeah. That's so, pretty yeah. cool. Tell us about the Botanical Garden. So, so I work at the Miller Botanical Garden. We are a tiny botanical garden in the north end of Seattle, and it's a little hard to get into, but what we do is we do a lot of educational outreaches, and one of the main programs is Great Plant Picks, which is a nonprofit program to help people find the most consistent, reliable performers. That and is so, an awesome yeah, service. It's, it's a great website and, and wonderful seen. plants. <laughs> and many of these plants in here are great are part plant of them? picks. Yeah, well, yeah. we've learned about yeah. This one is yep. the one that this I'm not going to forget about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll put everything on the website, but the Flower and Garden Festival runs February 7th through the 11th. I can't believe it's yeah. February already at the oh, Washington geez. State Convention Center. Ticket links and the schedule are on our website, but some pretty great news for today's audience because everybody's going home with a pair of tickets. Yeah. Oh, I like it. It's very fun. Thank you so much. Come back and see us. And you have to come back. You're part of the show. After the break, how relevant topics of today resonate in a new novel by an Edmonds author. She joins us next. Yeah.